Hi, Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So, Taurus, you're telling me that you guys are stagnant or something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the queen of pentacles. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys as a relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Taurus, listen, you know, something could be just hanging in the balance concerning your coins. You could be waiting on your coins or trying to figure out what's going on with your coins. However, Taurus, you can tell me that you're stagnant with this person and you're trying to ask yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You guys may be stagnant and you're just waiting. Taurus, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. 
So Taurus, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. So Taurus, did things end between you guys over some type of deception? Is this the reason why you guys are stagnant here? You're stagnant and you're waiting and you're stagnant or asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest because of some type of deception. <clears throat> Taurus, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Taurus, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Let's clarify the two of wands. For Taurus, clarify the two of wands. For Taurus, clarify the two of wands. For Taurus, it is clarified with you, Taurus, or Aries, the emperor. The emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the emperor for Taurus. It is clarified with the lovers. Ooh. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Taurus could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers. For Taurus, clarify the lovers. For Taurus, it is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Taurus, this could all be work or business, a partnership with work or business, work here with some type of an agreement or contract, collaboration. You're at a crossroads concerning it. Because remember, you were looking at your coins here, some type of deception here with the coins. Taurus, you could also tell me that I'm just going to say someone here may have another other lover, a third party, Taurus. And you're at a place where you're trying to figure out where to go from here or to pick between this one or that one. Taurus, you could also tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull with one another and you're at a crossroads on whether or not to work things out with this person. You're thinking about it, thinking about it. Taurus, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Taurus, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me something is being brought to your attention concerning work or business here, Taurus, some type of deception. 
Taurus, you can tell me that they're getting your attention wanting to work things out with you. You can tell me that you're getting their attention wanting to work things out with them. Or you're telling me that something is being brought to your attention concerning maybe they have another other lover at work. Or you do. You have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Taurus, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Nine of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, or Libra, the Empress. The Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Empress for Taurus. Clarify the Empress for Taurus. The wheat is coming through my card. Clarify the Empress for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Empress for Taurus. It is clarified with this Nine of Swords again. Taurus, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Taurus, you're confronting someone. Or they have confronted you, and this is what you're in your head about. Maybe you're in your head about confronting your boss, playing with your money. Maybe you're in your head about confronting your partner here, Taurus. Or Taurus, you're stressed because they have confronted you. And they have you on pause, and you're waiting. Let me take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, okay, love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. That part? You mean that part right there? Yeah. What else? For Taurus, you or them. Very well could be going on with someone at work. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Confrontation right here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subsp subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.